Hey guys, how you doing? Hope you're doing okay. Going to read through the full article here. It's pretty short. There's a link in the description. It's pretty grim. Pretty grim, pretty grim. So the headline gives us quite a look into what's happened here. A body has been found in a kitchen in the home that you see in front of you. A man has been suspected of keeping his son's corpse in the kitchen since May 2018. So a little under four years. He's kept his son's corpse in the kitchen. We don't know how the son died. Um, so it is kind of sad in a way. An East Texas man is suspected of keeping his son's body in his kitchen for almost four years. David Michael, sorry, David McMichael, 67 years of age, was being booked into the Bi-State Jail in Texarkana on Wednesday afternoon on a charge of abuse of a corpse. It was about 5.10pm on Tuesday, March the 29th, when a caller asked New Boston, Texas police to check on the welfare of a male in the 1200 block of South Merrill Street. When officers asked McMichael whether he knew why they were there, the father reportedly said that it was because he had a body in his kitchen and that it was of his adult son who died in May 2018. Police investigators and members of the Texarkana crime scene unit determined that the body was that of a male, possibly Jason McMichael, his son. There's no mention of the son's age nor the cause of the son's death. Uh, the article does tell us that he was an adult. The boy, the son that died was an adult. Um, the father is age 67, so, I mean, the son, I guess we could guess, could possibly have been in the 30s, in their 30s, perhaps their f 40s even. Um, the body has been released to Mid-South Transport to be taken to the Southwest Institute of Forensic Sciences for autopsy and further identification. So there's that story. To be honest with you, I, f I mean, it is horrific. It is horrific. It is gruesome. But it's also very tragic. Um, I, I wonder if... Uh, this father was just emotionally lost. Maybe this is an aspect of his grieving. I don't know. I really don't know about this kind of topic. Just kind of grasping at straws. But that's what I'm feeling. Um, he is being charged. The father is being charged uh, on abuse of a corpse. Um, I don't know what that means. Maybe merely... Perhaps merely isn't the right word, but I'll use it anyway. Maybe merely housing the corpse in an inappropriate area, such as one's kitchen in a residential home. Maybe that would constitute a charge of abuse of a corpse, as opposed to, you know, um, doing anything untoward to the body. Um, very, very strange. Very, very strange. Of course, I presume the corpse would have decomposed fully at that point I, I really don't know so it is very odd very strange very gross very gruesome but it, it's also very sad um, it's very sad I, I wonder how mentally troubled this father is David McMichael I wonder if it is a, a, a part of the grieving process or you know a, a response to his grief that he acted in this way by keeping a hold of uh, the corpse of his son you know i could imagine that the possible intent was love i can imagine intent may be the wrong word but uh, you probably know what i mean anyway i'll wrap things up here um i'll wrap things up here it's not the first time we've seen this kind of thing it, it is very weird it is mentally ill um so i don't know i'm not that angry at this david mcmichael I just feel that he's almost certainly mentally ill and um, likely grieving. So I, I don't uh, feel anger towards him per se. So I'll wrap things up here. If this is the type of content that you like, as gruesome as it is, then please do consider liking, commenting, subscribing to the video. Show me some love, as it were. And uh, I'll thank you for your time.